What's up guys, it's Alan with Ignorant Obsessions. Uh, today I'm gonna be tinting the fog lights on the Civic. We're gonna be tinting them a pink color. Uh, kind of a little bit of backstory behind this before we start. Uh, my friend was just messing around, put some of this red tape over it and it actually looked pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna be taking the red tape that we put on in the parking lot off and put some actual, make it look good. Um, product we're using is going to be made by 3M. Uh, red lens repair tape. Here's what the packaging looks like. And here's the product itself. I've never really done anything like this, um, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna be trying to make it actually look good uh, during the daylight. And I uh, just thought I'd record the process. Oh, and my friend like did, as you can see, we still have the gap up top and down bottom. And on this side, it is a lot worse just because we have this part down here and then this part up here and it all just looks bad so we're gonna try and actually make this look pretty decent we have a razor blade some alcohol pads to wipe off um the lights and then we actually have the tape itself so we're gonna start off by removing this tape this tape is actually pretty stretchy so shouldn't run into too many issues with it so what we're going to start off with doing is taking just an alcohol prep pad and we're going to wipe the headlight off. Try to wipe off any of those uh, road contaminants or adhesive. Just to make sure we get a nice clean fit. Now these are not going to be the cleanest ever, but it's going to be cleaner. And I'm going to go ahead and get the other one done so that way we don't have to do it later. All right, so we're just going to kind of just start doing what we think is gonna work and just kind of roll from there i guess now i'm sure somebody in the comments is going to tell me a better way to do this and by all means go for it oh, this shit's kind of hard to cut eh? that would probably help if i had a all right so I'm just kind of lightly scoring it here. So that way it should just come off. Uh, the best way I can describe the way this feels is like the backing on 3M double-sided tape. Um, so that kind of stretchy feel. But I'm just trying to be nice and gentle so we don't scratch up the paint or anything. Right, but we'll get that solved and figured out. All right, so we have this top half kind of done here, and it's not perfect, but it definitely will pass. This is kind of a better look at how it is. Um, you can definitely still see a little bit up top here. But it's not exactly perfect, but I still think it'll look fine and it'll be passable. I might cut like little strips just to put along the edges. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get a second piece put down here and then repeat the process. So we're just gonna take another piece Stretched about to size. We can do a little bit more. Just so you have some excess on both sides. Come through and just attempt. So that's gonna be the key word here is just attempt to cut. We're gonna scrap this piece because this piece is coming out quite right. So you gotta put a little bit of force behind it on this tape. That's what we're finding out. But if you want your cut to come out good, which none of mine are except for the one where I'm just fucking about. But, on the second piece here. Do it on this bottom edge. So this is like so. So as you can see 
here, we have this little bit of excess. We're just gonna go through and trim this out. So this edge is not gonna look the most stellar, but it's cut. Try to smooth out the edges. And just like that, we have a fairly done fog light. So there is this side. And then there is this side here. So that's kind of a before and after look. Um, but it is definitely looking pretty good. Uh, we'll go through and just give a little bit of a demo. We'll see how it looks, see if it still looks good. Still looks pretty good. You can definitely still see, I don't know how well it's going to come through on camera. Um, but you can still see right in here is still the bar from where they overlap. Uh, so if I go through and do it again, it might be something like that, but I do kind of like that look. So there's a nice little before and after for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get this other side done and it should look pretty good. Right, so we have you guys at a little bit more of an angle or a little bit different of an angle for this one. I already went ahead and cleaned this one up a little bit. So as you can see, here's the tape and we're just pretty much getting a section of it like this going through, cutting it, setting that piece aside, and then just kind of aligning it with that top edge. I'm doing my best to keep it level, like I did the other side, and just kind of smoothing it from the center out, so that way we don't end up with any creases anywhere. Smoothing it along that edge there. Smoothing it out, making sure we have no marks. Now you can see we have all this excess. Uh, it looks like we have creases like right along there, but it's just reflection. I'm not sure where I need to stick my hand to show that, but yeah. So now we're just gonna go through like this and be very, very gentle. That way we don't mess up the car's paint. That looks a little questionable, but I definitely think still good to leave it just because it's on the top section there. Really not gonna be able to notice it too much. I'm just trying to make sure this is really seated there in that crease before I start making any cuts. See, still stuck up on that top section again. So this seems to be one of the more difficult areas, but get that all pressed down just like we did before. Still running a little bit of that gap up top, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. Now we're just gonna get our tape again, get another piece cut out. And I am getting plenty of material just making sure I have plenty and enough because the last thing or the last issue I want to have with this thing is just not having enough material I 
not low enough down. So I'm not sure how well this thing will stick multiple times over, but it still felt pretty sticky from the one that went on last night. Like tape that I took off, so. Keep as many of the creases out of here as possible. So I know they make stickers just for this, um, but I've only seen them in yellow. And 3M actually makes tape like this in yellow. That was the other color that I saw there. They had the red and the yellow, so. If you guys want to do the same process but in yellow uh, you definitely can um but it would probably also just be easy to just probably buy a sticker off of Amazon that's just built for it there we go get a little bit of a crease there we're gonna see if we can just push all of that out we're just gonna push from the center outward on them still see it is a little bit rough but it definitely looks pretty clean um we're gonna get these turned back on here you can see the way it looks up front but it definitely comes through as pinned this side definitely looks a lot cleaner so i might redo this side but that's where we're gonna leave it for now guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video